Welcome back. Let's check in on those details of the Channel's Classics with Illumina Macaulay in Sports News. Yes, Amarachi and the Channel's Track and Field Classics have indeed begun. And the 2018 200 meters girls champion, Alimot Alawonle of Tindip College, Ikorodu, has retained her title at the Channel's Track and Field Classics. Alawonle this evening again dominated the girls' 200 meters final, clocking 26.0 seconds to win the girls' events at the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Lagos. Victoria Ejembi of Federal Girls finished second place in 26.1 seconds. Defending champion in lane three, and then she's got a good chance to defend this one. She started very brightly. She's, she's, she's navigated the fence so well, and definitely no one's going to catch up with her. It's a good chance to defend her title, and she's just done that. Successfully, and it's Alonle again with the win. Uh, okay, that, that is the final one that we want to see uh, right here on this year's edition. It's been a long day. And let's wrap it up with uh, some exciting races right here in the city of Lagos. Now the boys' 200 meters final has produced a new champion, is Olaolu Olatunde of Temple College, Ikeja. Barely a few minutes after winning gold in the boys' long jump final, Olatunde switched to the boys' 200 meters final, crossing the finish line in a time of 22.15 meters to win seconds to win gold. Mohamed Kabiru of State Senior High School finished in second place. The 100 meters, 400 meters, 110 hurdles, 4x400 meters relay, 4x100 meters relay, and high jump finals will hold tomorrow. He's gone on to win the 200 meters boys final. The Super Eagles of Nigeria have come from behind to beat Benin Republic 2 1 in their opening 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier at Godzilla Pabio International Stadium in Uyo this evening. The Squirrels raced into an early lead. But goals from Victor Sime and Samuel Kalu secured all three points for the three-time African champions. Victory moves the Super Eagles to the top of Group L, with Serie Lone and Lesotho having played to a one-all draw at the same time in Freetown. Former Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger has returned to football as FIFA's new Chief of Global Football Development. It is Wenger's first official appointment since leaving Arsenal, at the end of 2017-2018 Premier League season following 22 years in charge of the North London club. The move also ends speculation linking him to the vacant Bayern Munich manager's job. His department will be involved in the football side of FIFA's development projects through its forward program under which $6 million has been made available to every football association in the world. Manchester City's Bernardo Silva has been handed a one-match ban and a £50,000 fine from the English Football Association for his controversial tweet to Benjamin Mendy. Silva was originally charged with misconduct by the FA in October after the Portuguese tweeted an image of a young Mendy alongside an image of the brand mascot of a Spanish confectionery brand with the caption, Guess Who, on September the 22nd. The 25-year-old then deleted the post prior to tweeting a follow-up response to say, can't even joke with a friend these days, you guys. The Portuguese, Portuguese midfielder, who scored five times in 17 appearances for Manchester City in all competitions, will miss the game against Chelsea on November 23rd. That's sports news. Marachi, back to you. Thanks, Illumide. And the main news again. Tensions flared today in Bielsa State ahead of Saturday's governorship election, with three people feared killed at a PDP rally in Mbe local government area of the state. Also today, bandits killed three policemen attached to Operation Safe Highways and a gun battle in Sangha local government area of Kaduna State. And the World Health Organization today approved the world's first ever vaccine against Ebola disease. That is the news at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.